Jay Adeloy from Drop Dead Interactive brings you Gear Gauntlet Developer Diaries. Hey, how's it going? I'm your boy Bites of Chicken, also known to the real world as Jay Adeloy. I'm from Jordan Interactive and gonna quickly take you through um, basically adding some, um, basically what I want to do is make it so that on this um, menu screen which shows the latest, the last game played, I want to be able to make it dynamic um, and have it so that um, it will load that detail basically um, depending on what you was last playing which will be saved in the, in the um, save and load manager um, so the first thing we need to do is set up a few things and that is in the resources um, so we've got the resources for the images and then and here we've got the refresh and then we've got the level icons um, one two three and four the other things that i need in there Yep. The Sunday Times Good University I need guide. Correct. That to be in there. So I need that. Be a and I need tokens to be in there as well. Yeah, so I learned a game from Woody Jones. So I've got to call tokens in for this one. Yep, okay, so now that I've got that. Um, what I then need to do, point to off, but I shouldn't have to have a link on it. The right. the the so the first thing I need to do is I will create some um, images. So public image. Um, this, uh, image. We'll get um, the image and we'll get level image. Um, these basically are going to be the images that will be getting updated. Um, so if I was just going back into here now. Um, uni always takes ages to basically load up so yeah so I need to put that into there um, oh well as soon as it's all loaded um, let me just make sure actually basically I gave this a quick test run just to make sure um, to you know, speed up time and stuff like that um, and just for debug purposes I'll make these values um, public so public in level index or index so I'm making them public um, normally I would load this from the save and load manager um, So 
basically in here we're going to load all the resources um, and then here we're going to actually set the images one second my family just come back in so let me just quickly just pause this and go say hello so my daughters have come back and they're very excited to see me um, so I'll have to make haste with this get my notes back up um, yeah, so I'm gonna make haste. So yeah, so okay. First thing I need to do really is I need some public cons level um, level file location one. So basically I need some cons to load. I, I don't like putting things in, um, what's it called? I don't like writing text in just in case I need to change it. Um, but I've actually got these locations set up already. Um, written out, like I said, trying to save time here. So I've got that. Type it was. So okay, we've got those things there, and then one, I always put my privates above my publics. So we've got private, and then we've got sprite, and we've got an array, um, level images one, two, three, four. We've got four worlds, you see. So we always need. Four of these, and then we want two more, I suppose. But this should be for I'm uh, really one of those. But we are we need an S to denote that there's more than one. Grade. Yeah, and so in here we'll do this dot level which is one because resources dot load all. Oh, 
always put my fingers in the same order. Um, and we put grid. Very particular about what I do things. Maybe it's a bit of OCD, I don't know. So we'll do that and if I just save that and do that and attach that. So basically I'm just going to step through just to make sure um, on this awake it actually is doing what I want it to do. So if we just wait for you need to catch up. So this has got nothing in it. It should have ten in there. That's got oh, um, images refresh level icons two 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 two. Oh, I know why that is. Two that's gonna have that nothing in there. That's got five, and uh, that's got two in there. So I know why the others haven't worked. And that is because when I set up, when I put these in here, see this I've set as multiple, these ones. Oh, I have set these ones up as multiple, but I just haven't, um, I just haven't cut them up basically. So if I go into here, slice, uh, automatic, so slice and apply. I'll load my wife's screams. Maybe you might have heard that, maybe you didn't. So, these basically are just used to really try and help the player. Let me save that. The player to recognize what level they're on. So, if I was to do that again. this time we will hopefully get some values in them so it turns see working as it should so now that I've got that what I will do actually I will create a private dictionary whoops I'm going to stop debug so create a private dictionary Yeah, I might have to do a use in there. Um, we will make valve type int and sprite array. We'll call that level images. And then all we'll do here is we'll say this dot um, level images dot add zero level images. I always put this, like I said, very OCD. When I come to tidy this up, I actually may make it so that this stuff all loads in when the splash screen comes up, just because, of course, you know, these images aren't going to keep constantly changing, so therefore I may as well load them up just at one time, um, so that they can be used constantly, because you don't want to keep unloading this every single time, because you want that UI to just be rapid, 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 so... Um, I'll probably do that. But the reason I've done that is because um, when what we're going to do here now is we create a method now called um, load level details. I do not know why I just did that. And, uh, quick actions and generate that method. So in here, I'll just do if this dot level image not no. what we want to do is basically grab the sprite image so the level image 
and we want to say get the sprite and we want that to basically equal this dot level images and then we want it to be um, equal to this dot world index um, dot get value um, this dot level index What's this? Uh, can I convert type object to? Um, so that should basically return. Um, should return the correct index for the world which currently is set to zero um, which is set to zero so therefore if I was to now set the world index to one I should get a different world which I do as you can see so I've got this world and also so if I was to set the world back to zero but set the level to nine which is really level 10 because of the index but as you can see we get a different level so yeah hopefully you've seen how that worked and you know um, you can do something similar um, I will finish it off by changing what the rare shows um, and the grade also um, just off the top of my head I can't remember what the indexes I've used for that so I don't want to put one in and it come up um, well it should be yeah should be I think they said it was five for the grade actually let's just do that now so if this dot um, grade images is not equal to null okay. this dot grade image Sprite equals this dot grade images um, four. For example, I'll well, just do that. So you saw what pictures it was before. So if I do rare images, rare images dot rare image so if I put a one in there because I know that there's only two different rares that you can do in cyber they've got it or they haven't so that should that F should now become an S and that rare should have a symbol inside so that you've collected it and basically that is basically um, yeah me showing you how to dynamically load the level details which obviously would change depending on what the users actually was last playing and what um, details they've got and that will all be stored in the safe manager so hopefully you enjoyed that and that has been of some use to you see you later guys